beautiful blessed family i'm not lying see i'm out here it's it's snowing most people are freezing and here i am in the cold i love it I, i'm just so excited that i can actually bear it and also bear with me as i try to figure out where to look when i'm using this phone i've never really was good at that but i think i should start to learn how to do that so hopefully um i'm looking at you guys right now anyway i am uh i don't celebrate christmas but i want to talk about when they say the spirit of Chris christmas spirit they're not joking remember lucifer was the head of music and i'm telling you christmas music is, music is so pop it's so powerful like I'm enamored by it. Like I'm, I'm actually like, it's difficult to go into a store, a mall, and not feel that feeling I used to feel when you know you're getting ready for Christmas, putting up the tree, all that kind of stuff. So I'm, um, I def definitely have to apologize to my daughters. Um, I feel like I need to apologize to them, and I know I didn't know any better, but I feel like a lot of the things they're doing now, I can't even tell them not to, because I'm, I was, I was the queen of Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's and um and they, i did it well and it get, brought comfort to them and it brought um it brought comfort and reassurance and it was it felt like when it was coming like it was like a, it was like stability like you knew what was going to happen it was a routine and when things don't go your way it throws things off. So, like, I, I know our Heavenly Father's been weaning me, and a lot of us, off of these pagan practices, but it's so not easy. I, it's been actually been a, a minute since I've done a video. I really didn't feel anything pressing to share in relation to what is to come. And I noticed that for Christmas Eve, the stores were actually a lot more quiet than it's, it usually is, which is, it's kind of telling. People are watching the news. And seeing um, that things are looking a little bit kind of scary. Anyway, um, I'm just, I just thought, I'd, I just felt that I just needed to come on and just kind of say um, hello and to um, just let you know that I'm, I've been watching the news too. And um, the, the climate, the spiritual climate around people is, is kind of telling people are aware that something weird is going on and uh, I wanted to also say that uh, I'm a human being and uh, I don't have all the answers I don't have a lot of the answers <laughs> I don't have a lot of the answers um, but the things that I do know I do share and I'm so open to hearing what people have to say you know in relations to um, their knowledge because I, I mean before this walk, this walk of walking. Um, I used to be so excited to go to church or to go to a sermon where someone who was seasoned in the word was preaching. That's that, that still hasn't changed. Um, but I do have an understanding of the spiritual realm that I didn't have before that I really will feel that people need to share. Either people don't know or people don't want to tell. So that's why this channel has evolved and become what it is today. Anyway, I think a big reason why I'm doing this right now is because I I realize that I don't think we all have a choice but to either acknowledge the season that we're in because everything's shut down. You know, like this is kind of like what, kind of telling as to who runs, who's running the system that we're in because everyone's saying Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays, no matter what the ethnicity, what the religion, who is a, whatever the religious practice, everyone's participating in this, which is, to me, even bigger than Halloween for that reason. It's a kind of setup that everyone's acknowledging this day, right? Anyway, and you have to get that, you have to ask yourself, if people are so hateful of, of, of the word and living by scripture, why is everyone so enamored with Christmas Day? it really is a Christian practice, right? Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Remember, you are made marvelously. I hope you are enjoying this quiet time and doing whatever you are you're doing with your family or without. Um, I don't I don't celebrate Christmas, but I am presently with my mother and my um, um, and family members 
who do practice it. So it's really difficult in my situation to kind of uh, not kind of support. My mom's, I'm 50. So you know, my mom's, you know, she's at an age where, you know, when she's doing something, you want to help. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, so as much as I don't acknowledge Christmas, it's very difficult to not. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Remember, you're made marvelously. I love you, miss you guys, and um, pray for me as I know the spirit and spiritual realm that the attacks on my my spiritual walk have been heavy, and I haven't been as diligent as I'd like to. I've been, I mean, our heavenly Father is always on the forefront of my mind, but the 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 practice of of warring and praying in the spirit has been I've been slacking. I really have. I've I've kind of been. Par not paralyzed, but like there's when the war. You know when something so is happening around you that's so heavy, you kind of just have to pause and acknowledge what's going on. That's kind of how it's been. So anyway, pray for me as I pray for you. And until next time, guys, be blessed.